Hinton was a big railroad town. When the, the community found out that we were going to have a railroad museum, uh, everybody had somebody in their family that worked for the CNO because that was our only employer, big employer at that time. And uh, they went in their attics and basements and uh, got up what they had accumulated pictures and books and things that they thought would be of interest and brought it to us. And so the museum grew to what it is today. I have been a volunteer with the museum since it was opened. I enjoy every, seeing everything. Of course, I more or less grew up with it because I, when I was working, they were using all these things. I'm 94 years old, and I worked for the railroad company for 43 years. When the railroad company started doing passenger service back many years ago, this chair was uh, one of the ones that was used in the coaches for the passengers to sit in, and it was on a swivel, and they could turn it and look out the window, or they could turn it and talk to the person across the aisle from them. The railroad now is just as active, as it, of course, as a busy railroad is ever, but uh, it just does not require the number of people to keep it moving as it did back in the day when this had steam engines. It uses the same road bed that the Chesapeake and Ohio laid back in 1873. And we get the Amtrak, the passenger train, three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can get on here and go to Washington or Chicago, either way. So. We're still, still railroading.